Hey, William here. We have ventured to Lakeland, Florida at the Lakeland Linder Airport. They are having a remote control air jet plane uh, competition and exhibition today. We're uh, pretty excited to check this out, so uh, come along. Just to get into scale of how large these remote control airplanes are, it is unreal. Look at this one, F-15. Check the pilots out. And look at the pilots here in this cockpit. Pretty cool, huh? flight so when he's upside down things get a little bit backwards so if he pulled back on the stick um, normally in the level flight platform like that um, it would climb when he's inverted it goes the other way so it's a little bit of thought baby to it the of the renegade and uh, that allows him to increase the display of the flight envelope so he's showing lots of uh, positive and negative pitching maneuvers i saw the tail end of a square loop now that's a negative uh, figure of eight with a roll thrown in, just a good measure. Dave down with the Evo, doing his best Ken Brock impression. Um, yeah, that was some superb control right there because that aeroplane was, I thought, done for. I thought we were going to get a combination of Yak 130 and uh, Boomer, uh, uh, Bandit Evo, but he somehow managed to avoid uh, a ground to ground collision so yeah well done here comes uh robbie now with the renegade i'm sure going to show you how slow it will land and how beautifully it will land check this out beautifully done bbm team bbm thank you very very much so it's as light as possible this is the fifth scale as i said weighs around about 80 pounds at takeoff representing the company that makes the radio equipment. The radio in this aeroplane is by a German company called Powerbox. Very, very good. Nice. different now is they have their own transmitter. The transmitter in question is the Powerbox Core. It's a 26 channel radio, I believe, so probably the most 
complicated and technically capable radio on the market today. Um, which, when setting up an aeroplane like this, which has probably in the region of 20 servos, and um, I'm sure we'll see some grips and some and some So, yeah, be ready for that as the display goes on. to start the more energetic and high G parts of his flight um, and you saw there the flips, the thrust vector flips which some people might argue is not scale but actually with this aeroplane it is. If you're to look online and punch in SU-30 uh, on YouTube or on other platforms you'll see that the aeroplane is the devices that you see on the front of the aeroplane, we call them canards, um, they're on this aeroplane actually not driven by anything, they're just directed by the airflow, which is quite unusual up until this morning. So, we're going to do this again. We're going to do this again. So we've been here about 35 minutes to an hour, somewhere in that ballpark, grabbing a bite to eat. Just gonna go sit at the tailgate on the car and uh, eat real quick before we go back out and watch the rest of the show. But the neat thing about it, these jets are moving at about 200 miles an hour. They're moving at a pretty good clip. And they're doing some aerobatics with these via, uh, planes that are I guess because there's so much thrust compared to the weight. I know the uh, last double jet that took off, he said it was based off of a, uh, a Russian jet, had uh, so much thrust, and the plane only weighed 80 pounds. So uh, I guess that kind of makes sense, right? It can do a little bit of everything it wants. And So the food's not that bad. Just grilled burgers, double burgers. I think it was like seven bucks for the combo. Um, pretty good. The jets have not stopped at all. And these people know what they're doing. Pretty impressive to see, to be honest with you. And at the speeds, like I was saying, they were telling us they go, in the United States, they go, uh, they're limited to 200 miles an hour. And they say overseas, at events that they do go a lot faster, 300 to 350. These things are about eight foot to 10 foot long, pretty big. And about 80 to 100 pounds, somewhere in that ballpark. Look, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a uh, bald eagle. Kind of cool. So of course we're right behind Lakeland Linder. This is still part of Lakeland Linder Airport. And the detail that has gone in to a lot of these airplanes is just amazing. It is uh, kind of fascinating to be honest with you. But um, I've enjoyed every minute I've had 
I want you to check this out. The blackbird. Unreal. Beautiful. The detail alone that they have with it. I mean, literally. I've seen this plane actually at Wright Patterson Air Force Base in Dayton, Ohio. It's just beautiful. And you don't realize how big it is. This damn thing's about 15 foot long. It's pretty massive. But uh kind of neat. Very impressive again. I think everything that they have here is check this out you're gonna get a kick out of this especially with the panda we all need to laugh here and now and then again right fly hard panda has your back I like it well a lot of these planes we saw flying earlier So a lot of these planes that they have on display out here for sale, like this one, F-16, it's one-fifth scale, $8,000. This one is $4,500. Well, we saw one just like this a little while ago. I think that was $75, and this one's $85. $65 with no engine, and $85 with Cheetah 160. I wish I knew a little bit more about it, but. I was trying to say, ask you something, I don't remember what it was. I mean, no. So, what never ceases to amaze me is every time I come to one of these things, is the vendors and the people that are involved are always so cool. And really uh, always willing to give you as much information as they possibly can. Just really neat. We've enjoyed every moment of this today. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about that. That's for sure. death I was able to get that on camera he ran off the end of the ran runway and skid it did a fishtail and then he was able right, to goose it enough RC, to get it back up, up on top of the uh, runway uh, what a cool day Yeah. 
So some of the things we've seen today, this makes sense. Well, we are ending our day today 
with Florida Jets in Lakeland, Florida. What a great time. Really cool, nice people. Uh, everybody seemed to really have a good time. And uh, it was um, entertaining the whole day through. Really enjoyed ourselves. I can't, uh, couldn't ask for anything more. Just awesome. So hopefully you uh, like this, and uh, if you do, like, share, subscribe, and uh, we'll bring you along for our next adventure. Again, William with Leave Reality Behind Adventures. Take care. See you. There is another uh, show coming uh, April 28th through May 2nd. This is actually uh, for the Top Gun uh, competition for Florida Jets in the uh, radio control model pilot planes jets that is of course um there's going to be over 130 pilots you're competing or they are competing for over twenty five thousand dollars in um rewards the coveted um top gun or mr top gun is what they call it will be awarded that day or during that event for the top pilot so this is the major uh competition from around the world and it's being held of course in lakeland florida uh, about 25 miles uh, from walt disney world and about 25 miles to 30 miles from tampa so it sits right in the middle right off of i-4 uh, we will leave the description for Paradise Field, which is at Lakeland Linder Airport in Lakeland, Florida. So we hope to see some of you all there. If you can make it down, it's a great, great event. These guys do a really good job. I was very impressed. And uh, I can't wait to see it again. So stick around. Check this video out. We'll have another one coming once this one's up. And uh, the competition's been taking off. So we really appreciate you. Take care and see you next time.